told those guys? For me in that se- in that senior year where I was at in life, man, going through going through Rutgers, man. Uh, I saw one one kid in my in one in my class that I came in. And he was like, he all knows what I will well, know what I mean by this. You might be a little confused, Cody. Uh, he was like 2014 to 2016 at Rutgers was a movie, and it really was, man. Like the the, the scene of, at co- around College Ave at, uh, around night times and just the social scene was a movie, man. It was just crazy times, and uh, oh, I know. And I got wrapped up in it a little bit for sure. And uh, that senior season, I got off the of social media because I knew how I had to go. I, I had to compete my best. I knew how I uh, I was going to prepare best and. Social media was just kind of toxic for me at the time. It was creating a lot of distractions, whether it was um, just not the right motive, not the right motivation to go be a champion when it was time to go wrestle on the mat. So uh, for me, the best and easiest thing to do is just get off it and remove it from my life. Um, and it wasn't, it wasn't like uh, just because I wanted to be number one. Of course I wanted to be number one, but it was just to be the best wrestler I could be at that time. And, um, I wanted to be a national champion really bad, and I dedicated a lot of my life towards that. Um, but it wasn't going to be the end of the world if I didn't accomplish that. But getting off of social media was just a toxic thing for me for the wrestling environment at Rutgers at that time. And I just needed to be able to compete my best and to do that. I just kind of removed myself from the people that were really high, the people that were really low about it. I just removed myself completely, and I put myself in the best mental situation to go to go compete the best I could. Gio, are you able to do that this season? Yeah, uh, you know, after he spoke to us, um, you know, I tried to take take it very serious because that's something that definitely affected me, uh, you know, freshman and sophomore year, you know, especially we weren't winning as many games. So there was, you know, twice as many people uh, telling us what we should do, what we shouldn't do, how things should go. And um, I think the, just the most important thing is that you need to listen to the people that are on the inside. Um, you know, people who are on the outside, they have no idea how much you train every day. They have no idea. Uh, you know, just about everything. They have no idea what's going on, you know, on the inside. And, and, you know, it's, it's cool that they care, you know, fans obviously care about the programs and that's, and that's great. But, you know, at the end of the day, you got to listen to the people that are on the inside. And, um, you know, I definitely tried to stay off social media. I still had Instagram, but um, I stayed off Twitter, which was, which I felt like was the most, uh, you know, like hardest thing where people will come at you the most. And um, so that was, that was definitely something that helped me a lot. Um, you know, when I had a bad game, I wasn't on Twitter looking at all the bad things people were saying. And then when I had a good game, I wasn't looking at everyone telling me I was the greatest to ever come through Rutgers. So, like that was that was uh, really good for me. And, um, you know, I, I stressed that to my teammates as well. You know, I told everyone I was going to get off Twitter and they should try the same thing. You know, I, I have no idea if everyone did it or not, but, um, you know, it was I, it was really good for me. And I'm sure it worked for other guys, too. Yeah, I think it's, it, was, so much- it was a great one. When- when I did it, it felt like relieving. Like when I was wrestling and competing during that time, it was like, it was like, just go compete the best you can when it was time to compete. It wasn't like, let's look on Twitter and see what people are saying about Rutgers wrestling versus Michigan tonight. It's just like, Oh, who am I wrestling? Cool. my game plans, I'm going to kill this kid. Like I'm going to get a deck pin. Like, uh, like the mindset just changes a little bit to more positive thoughts instead of more negative fighting the negative thoughts away. Like you're just constantly positive. 